Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Mommy coming to you with another budget video. It is early in the morning and I am having to record out of my elements because I am out of town. Um, I am up extra early this morning thanks to my brother because he had to go to work this morning. So he woke me up on the way out the door. But needless to say, it's all good. We're going to go on and get week four's budget explained. I am going to turn the camera around so that we can do this really quick so I can get back to my holiday weekend celebrations. I'll be right back, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, I am back and I will be starting with my week four budget. Let's get this going so that we can see how I was able <clears throat> to rectify my money for this week. Okay, week four. Sorry for the shaky camera because I will have to hold the camera today so that I can get everything in frame and visible enough for you to see it. All right, let's get this going. Okay, this week's bills are mortgage number two which is $260. We have the HOA fees for $6.60. We have the South Africa trip for $62.50. I'm sorry, still a little bit sleepy, I guess, $62. I have the auto insurance for $48.25. Student loans, $108. Electric bill, I'm gonna to have to explain this to you once I get here. Um, for, let's see, my electric bill was, oh, let's see, I'm trying to remember because I actually just have a certain amount of money set aside for it. But it was um, $126 this month. I'm going to put the set aside amount out there. And now, like I said, I'll go back and explain this to you. The gas bill was 100 and I'm sorry, $77. And I normally set aside 180. Um, children's lunch accounts was $22. And this is the last week of school. So, yeah. I hope this is able to focus because my lighting is a little bit off. But it's set aside for $22. And the children's savings account. Remember, I put... $28.50 and that per week okay which gives me a total of $1,307.75 okay now from there um, based on like I said remember the amount of money that I put into this account I am going to be short this week, $96.75. Also, remember, I like to keep a cushion in the account of $26.15. So, that's my cushion. So, in total, if we, if we add the $96.75 with the $26.15, I am going to be short a hundred and twenty two dollars and ninety cents and with that being said that must mean that I have to do what you are right I heard you <laughs> pull out monies from the bill savings account so I put my little handy dandy note there you all know how I do it pull out to assist with this week's bills okay 
Now, remember the next step after I go through and tally up all the bills that I want to this week's paycheck to cover. The next thing I do is I go back and I put my little PA notation by those bills amounts that I need to put away into the bill savings account. All right, for this week, the bills that we're really not going to actually pay out of this week is the, oh, we have one more bill too that I need to put out here to the side. It's $238.40. Now, this is going to be the extra amount. Remember, I told you that I am intensely trying to pay off this mortgage too. And every week, I have a certain amount of money that goes toward this bill extra. So for this week, since this bill is actually due on this week, the amount that I pay to it monthly, if I'm not paying anything extra, is the $260. Okay, so that's the regular payment, monthly payment that I make. So now... Let's go back and put the PA notations beside everything that will not be paid this week. That's the Homeowners Association fee. That's the South Africa trip. Um, and the auto insurance. I do not pay those expenses this week. And now remember, after that third step, first step, I write out all my bills and how much I have allocated for each one. Total it up get all of my shortage based on what I need to help assist me with this week's bills plus my shortage. After that step, second step, remember, is I go through and put the put away notation or PA right beside every expense that I'm not paying this week. Third step is I add up all the different PA or put away expenses. So $660 six plus $62 plus plus forty eight dollars and twenty five cents is going to come to a total of one hundred and sixteen dollars and eighty five cents so this is the put away total that I need to um, put away for bills this week that I will not be paying now remember I was already short some money that I'm gonna have to pull out of this bill account to assist me with this total that I want to cover for this week. So now we have the $122.90 plus the $116.85 um, that I need to put away. Okay, did I do that? correctly let's see um let's see oh no i didn't all right hold on we're gonna have to go back up here okay this is the total amount that i will need to pull out to assist with the bills and that also includes this amount so i do not need to add this again so basically what I will be doing at this point is this $122 is the amount that I need to assist me with coming up with this total. So I am going to have to, let's scratch this out, and it's going to appear that based on the amount that I'm having to put away, versus the amount that I need to pull out to cover everything, I'm going to have to do a subtraction. So this is going to look a little funny, but we're going to do it this way. Since this, this number is showing negative right here, but it is the larger of the two numbers, so I'm going to have to subtract those two numbers. I'm going to remove the negative sign so that my subtracting um, equation will look better. It's one twenty two ninety minus the one sixteen eighty five, so that gives me a total of six dollars and five cents. So now let me go back through and make sure I clearly understand, um, explain to you what what I just did, so that nobody will be confused. I really hope you guys are able to see this. 
this is the total remember the 122.90 that i need to pull out to help me with this amount of bills this is the amount i need to put away so if i'm putting this amount away of 116.85 and also needing to pull out 190 dollars in actuality i am only going to be needing to pull out six dollars and five cents because the pull out amount is larger than what i need to put away so this put away is a technical amount so basically it'll it'll appear that i'll take all three of these amounts put them into the bill account first okay and you may want to do this you know instead of trying to do these subtractions and only pull out a, a smaller amount you may want to physically go through and do these things so you won't confuse yourself so if you just really you know didn't want to do it that way you could put all three of these amounts which is the hundred and sixteen dollars and eighty five cents you can put that away into your bill account first then come back and pull out your one hundred and twenty two dollars and ninety cents to put back into your bills checking account so it can satisfy what you need you know done for the week but instead of me since i've been doing this for so long i just kind of um add everything up add or subtract everything up and just pull out the actual amount that i need to pull out so basically by this total of six dollars and five cents i'm gonna put that i need to pull out to assist with this week's bills all right now actually this week i have my dreaded student loan payment that needs to come out the student loan payment is $432, okay? Remember, I only set aside $108 from this week's pay. So what does that mean? That means that I need to get the rest of the remainder amount from this bill's savings account. Remember, I always divide, well, certain uh, bills I divide up into four payments or four weekly payments that I set aside. So the student loan amount is one that I do. Because if you notice, $108 times four will give you the $432. So basically, I need to take out th the other three weeks of $108 amounts to go with this week's $108 amount to make up for the total bill because this bill is actually due this week i will have to go into web bill pay and pay this bill so in actuality what i will be doing is pulling out the other 108 from the bill savings accounts i'm going to write them all out this is what i put away each week for that student loan bill 108 plus 108 plus 108 that gives me a total of 324 so this 324 is actually the amount that I need to pull out for the student loan payment. Pull out for bill due this week. Okay. So now let's go back and tally up everything to see what we've done. Remember up here, I still had the $6.05 that I need to pull out to assist with this week's bills. Now we're going to add the $324 that I need to pull out of this account because the student loan bill is due this week. So therefore, we have a total of the $324 plus the $6.05 I'm sorry, the six dollars and five cents that need to be pulled out. For a total of $330.05. That is the total amount. Total takeout. For bills. And like I told you guys in other videos. I write things out just like this. So that you can see what I'm doing. So basically for this week's bill, I would need to take out of my bill savings account $330.05 to assist me with this week's bills. 
Now, let me go back up here and explain something to you. I already told you about the additional $238.40 that I uh, will be paying extra toward this mortgage. So you know about that. So in actuality, it looks like I'm sending them almost $500 this month, uh, this week. So that total will come to the $498.40. And that's normally what I send through web bill pay. Now I'm going to go back and explain to you this electrical bill. As you can see, it's only $126 this month. And I always allocate or set aside $160. Same thing with gas. Gas bill is $77 this month. And I allocate $180. And I do that because I get the total of all of my bills for a whole year. And I divide it by 12. And this is the average that I come out with. So basically, there are going to be some months where it's running over and some months where it's going to run under. So in reality, after I've, what I need to do is once I subtract this amount that I set aside of 160 from the original amount of, um, 126 let's do that on the calculator real quick um it's gonna be 160 minus 126 that is 34 dollars and the same thing with this gas bill we'll take the 180 and subtract the original amount of the bill which is 77 let's do that 180 minus 77 that gives me 103 so now these two totals the $34 plus the 103 which is going to be what 137 I could I need to put that back into my bill savings accounts because remember this is an average amount so some months is going to be higher. Some months is going to be lower. So I will need to pull this amount out if it's higher, you know, my from my extra amounts that are left over some months. So this actuality, in actuality, this 137 will need to go back into the um, bill savings account. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do with that money. So this is week four. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what I've done. I just want to give you a little screenshot. That way some people may want to utilize it to assist them with how they actually um, allocate their bills. But that is all I have for week four. Please leave me a comment. Like this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And this is Dr. Mommy signing off with her week four budget. Bye-bye, YouTube.